Mrs. Washington is at home at Mount Vernon, so. I'm asked how old were my uh, wife's children when we married. It was some time ago now. <laughs> they were very young. One was uh, three and the other five. Uh, at present, she only has one surviving child. I should mention him, however. Um, Mr. Custis, for the first time since this war has begun, has joined our cause. He is here as a member of my military family. His, uh, his mother isn't present, and nor would I wish her to be, because we will be in harm's way. My wife has joined me in every winter camp, but she, uh, she's always been sent away when we begin campaigning. Uh, but her son is presently with the Army. How often do you get back home? I'm asked how often do I get home. Ma'am, in the six years that this war has continued, I have been home once. And that was by coincidence. I had the great honor a fortnight ago, on our way here, to stop at my house and to host the French commander, General Rochambeau, for dinner. And that's the only time I've been home since the war's put up. Without giving away any secrets, <clears throat> what is your plan of, a, of attack for Yorktown? <laughs> I'm asked if I can speak of the plan of attack for York without giving away secrets. It's a siege, sir. My army's not even present and the enemy's already going to know what I'm going to do. So do not fear on that score, sir. Sieges are always fought the same way. We will uh, endeavor when we leave here. It is my intention to take at least two days. So we will arrive in the morning, fresh. Uh, it is only uh, nine miles from here to Yorktown. It will not take that long to get there. But I want to be certain that we arrive early. Because we will be arriving under fire. And the enemy presently have defensive works. In fact, they have two lines of defensive works at York. We will build our own lines, parallel lines. Called that because they will run parallel to the enemy's works. We will endeavor to reduce the enemy's works by a constant barrage of our siege weapons, which is another one of the advantages that we presently enjoy. The enemy have no siege weapons. They are supplied mostly by battalion guns and by some of the 9 and 12 pounders they removed from the ships that Cornwallis has scuttled or sunk at York. We will, by night, endeavor to draw our works closer to the enemy works, and if the opportunity arises, we will endeavor to capture their works, take their redoubts, that we might turn their own works against them. <coughs> but even if we do none of that, even if we are not successful in that, simply by surrounding the city and keeping them unable to be supplied, we would eventually win. Ma'am. After the siege is over, will you be able to get back Certainly to return to New York. The question is regarding my plans for when we are finished at York. And I am not as sanguinous as you seem to be, ma'am, to think that this will end this war. I certainly do not think it will. The enemy hold New York. They hold Savannah. They hold Charleston. I have no doubts at all, but we will be successful at York. But that will not end the war, ma'am. And I have left too few men to hold New York alone. So we will return the, at least the uh, my command, the Continental Line, as soon as is possible. I may determine to leave the French here uh, for the winter. Speaking of the French, sir, um, as I recall, they have not always been our closest friends politically, and you have stated that uh, much of your confidence in this campaign is owed to their help, their aid, their soldiers. How do you feel about that alliance, and how do you think it may negatively or positively impact the future of where we are going? I'm asked regarding our alliance with France. And lady rightfully points out that in past times the French have been our enemy. But why is that? They hate the English. Certainly. The natural enemy of the French is England, and we are no longer England. I will admit, with some reluctance, and when I first heard that Congress was endeavoring to open alliance with France, that I was suspicious. What were their intentions? What did they hope to gain? I was engaged in a war 
to drive the French away from our shores. I was certainly, in them days, concerned. But I admit freely now that I'm entirely ashamed that I ever had that concern. The French fully support our cause. In fact, I have the assurance of Admiral Comte de Grasse that he will remain on station at least for two months due to the direct orders of his own king. The French hope to gain a number of things by this war. They do not fight simply for our benefit. But what is it they hope to gain? Well, first off, who did I say was their natural enemy? England. Yes. Certainly. So they will endeavor for whatever cause to make war with the English. And who won the late war here on this continent? England. The English. And in fact, they did so at great expense to the French. They embarrassed them greatly. So it is the hope of many French to regain some of the face that they have lost. And in some cases, there is the hope for personal vengeance. One of my own general officers is a Frenchman, uh, the Marquis de Lafayette. He received that title of Marquis at the age of three, when his father was killed by the English at the Battle of Minden. He certainly hopes for personal vengeance. And they hope to regain some of the territories that they have lost, most notably the uh, islands in the West Indies. And lastly, and this speaks to the more important portion of your question, they hope to see free trade open between France and ourselves, which would be a benefit to both of our nations.